Hello and welcome to ArcGIS Desktop Beginner 2 Pro course. Still on our course, we are in GIS Basics and today we'll be looking at making selections. So like I said in the last video, I will be adding data every time so that you get to uh, understand. And in adding data, you must have a location where your data is installed so you navigate to that folder. So once you come to this place, you're going to click on Add Data and then it takes you to all the files so you select the location of the data or the file you're looking for right okay so here i have my word what i wanted at c drive then i have productions here yeah, your database called production that's what i'm looking for so i'm actually looking for the local government boundary of Tharawa state so i'm going to click on lg so here is it. This is what we're going to be using. So today we're looking at making selections, all right? So you see this button right here, select features. Now in ArcGIS, anywhere you see a drop down, an arrow showing down, this arrow, it means there are other tools underneath it. And then if you see a plus sign, it also shows there are others on toolbox. If you see a plus sign, it indicates that there are tools underneath it as well. So we are going to click on this drop down, and then we have various ways we can select attribute. So let's start by select by right angle. Now what it means is if I click and I drag, wherever I drag the right angle to, you will see that they are all selected. Now, if I click select it only to this place. It will only make one selection. If I make the selection around all of it, you see that all the state data boundary will be selected. That is how you select by uh, by right angle. So select by polygon. You know how we how you digitize using polygon. Now, by the time you do like this and go like this, you just click click using the left click just for some of you who don't know which one you use it's the left click you're using to make this clicking okay it's the left click then when you reach the end you double tap so you see that for selecting you see the ones that are selected right using the polygon so for lasso 2 you just draw because lasso 2 is more like once you click once you draw for those of you who are graphic design you know what i'm talking about you just drag like i'm taking it and it's already making selection so you see once i release hand it makes selection so if i click from here and go around it will make selection that's how to select uh where lasso tools we have cycle to select by cycle so if i just make that is i click left click then drag it's going to make selection where i stop so these are various ways you can make selection and this can comes in handy in different ways in different tracks you encounter yourself that warrants you using which one that's how you can easily use this then we have select by line that's if i just take a line across and i double click it's going to make selections all right so this selection is for right click and go to attribute table you will see the selections it has made it selected uh eb local government belly mutumbu sorry gas was sorry uh sardona gasheka these are all the places that were selected where these select by line tools all right so ideally you come here but when you want to not select you click on this select element now that implies that once some select element is not making some dangerous moves for you, it's more like a benchmark, all right? So now there are other form of select shown we can do. When you come up to this selection up here, you will see selection by attribute and select by location. So we will only demonstrate select by attribute on this video. Now selecting by attribute uses what we call query builder, a bit of it anyway. Uh, so now 
what we have here if you check the layer is lg there's no other layer only lg so these are the name of the subheading all right then you can also have create a new selection add to current selection remove from current selection select from current selection so let's leave it at create a new selection by default all right so what do we want to select we want to select from this heading a geopolitical zones okay so this geopolitical zone will be equal to we'll get unique values now which of the geopolitical zones we want to select we have central that's tarawa central if i double click on it it comes like this now when you verify expression so this expression was successfully verified so if i click on apply now you will see that all the local government within the Taraba Central uh, polit geopolitical zone, sorry, Taraba Central, yes, Taraba Central, they are all selected. This is Castle, Bali, Gashaka, uh, Gashaka, and uh, this is Sardona, and finally, this is uh, Kurumi local government. All of them are selected on the basis that. They are grouped under uh, a certain subheading, we say geopolitical zone. So we have three geopolitical zones in Tarawa. So if I click on Tarawa North now, you see that other local government will, oh sorry, I just added that to it. So let's remove this. So the expression, uh, you have to always verify your expression. Okay, successfully explained. So you see that the local government in Tarawa Central are selected. So this is how you select. Uh, attributes select by attribute so let's go inside the attribute and see <coughs> you can also make selection by clicking on this you can hold your shift or, or or control so if I hold shift now if I click the next one is going to click so as I click holding shift you see that these were selected I can also click and drag I'll make selection for all of them. So I also click here, it's clear everything. So if I come up here on this, and then I go to select by attribute, it will also do what we just did. So it's the same. You can see that everything is the same as we did before. So if I select uh, headquarters now, and I say equals to get a new value, they're asking me to select which of the which of the uh, local government do I want to select. So let's say I select. Okay, showing me which of the local government. These are all headquarters. So let me select Pantisawa and I apply. It's going to just select Euro local government Pantisawa Taraba North. All right. So uh, let's go back to select by attribute and let's say I'm going to select. I'm going to select uh, the geopolitical zones again and uh, yes so let's use Tarawa South this time around so once I apply there's another uh, there's another select tool you can use now I only made selection to Tarawa South right so there's this we call switch selection if I click on it it's going to invert the selection okay since you're selecting Tarawa South now it's going to invert saying okay both Tarawa North and Tarawa Central should be selected so it just switched the selection to the ones that are not selected if I go back to switch selection now it will go back to the Tarawa sound so these are the various uh, select options we have in uh, ArcGIS, ArcMap desktop all right so and then at the end of the day you can right click and then you come down to selection and you can either clear selection or you make this the only selectable layer or you copy for a record for selected future or you can create a layer from selected future so whatever is the choice once if i click on create a layer from selected future it will just make a layer so if i remove this lga here now i have this selected as another layer which I can also export as a future class or as a shape file 
so basically this brings us to the end of this video and i hope you learned something new on this course so stay tuned and add ginger to it so you could create a hashtag second quarter learn gis challenge all right so let's go i'll see you in the next video